You see that? Kind of a mess, huh? Wait, let me get this thing off. There, that's better. You have no idea how big a mess it is, and how much trouble the companies and people involved in this are in. You know why? Because a couple of guys did not care enough to follow the rules. Let's meet the guys behind the scene. This is them. Here's what happened. This morning, Monday, these two, a little worse for wear after a wild weekend, were so busy bragging about their exploits, they let a few details slip. Kind of important details. They failed to pull safety data sheets, or SDSs, on the material they were packing. Since they didn't know what they were dealing with, they didn't know that two of the liquids they were handling are highly reactive. They mix and bad stuff happens. So guy one suggested to guy two that they pack the liquids in the same carton to save space. Cut to later in the morning. The carton has been loaded on a plane and it's ready to take off. The pilot taxis to the runway, but makes a sudden stop. Normally no big deal. Not so today. His load shifted and the carton the guys packed was crushed and boom, here we are. Okay, so this is bad, but it gets worse. Since they didn't pull the SDSs, they didn't have the information they needed to identify the product, properly pack the product, mark and label the product and package, and accurately fill out the shipper's declaration. So what is hazmat? Here's the formal definition. Hazardous materials are substances or materials that can burn, explode, react violently, or cause injury or harm to people, property, or the environment when transported in commerce. The hazard classes are detailed in the regulations. They are Class 1, Explosives. Explosives include products such as model rocket engines, fireworks, small arms ammunition, and dynamite. Class 2, Gases. Class 2 is broken down to three divisions. Division 2.1 is flammable gas such as acetylene. Division 2.2 is non-flammable compressed gas such as nitrogen. Division 2.3 is poisonous gas, such as chlorine. Class 3, flammable and combustible liquids. Class 3 materials and their vapors are highly flammable. Gasoline, some paints, and lighter fluid are familiar examples of this hazardous class. This section of the course deals with safety. First, we're going to talk about the safety data sheet, or SDS. Then a quick review of the OSHA hazmat symbols called pictograms and then a quick review of the hazardous product labels. OSHA is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and it's the government regulatory body that looks after employee safety. First, the SDS. The current format of the SDS was adopted in 2012 in line with OSHA's new Hazard Communication Standard. It became mandatory June 1, 2015 for manufacturers and December 1st, 2015, for everyone else. It's based on the United Nations GHS, or Globally Harmonized System, of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals. It replaces what we used to know as material safety data sheets. The SDS format is the same the world over. Everybody, everywhere, uses the exact same 16 sections, each providing the same important information about any given hazardous material. We're going to look at an SDS for unleaded gasoline. 